Hi there, I'm Brad Chamberlain, the technical lead for the Chapel Project here at Cray. And this is the rest of the Chapel team. There are 14 of us currently working full-time to implement and improve the Chapel language. If you're not familiar with Chapel, it's a portable, open-source, parallel language, and it's one that strives to be as productive as Python, as fast as Fortran, as portable as C, as scalable as MPI, and as fun as your favorite programming language. Now, being an open-source effort, there are a number of people collaborating on Chapel from a number of institutions. We'll show some examples of Chapel, starting with some task parallelism in Chapel. We'll start by declaring a constant num tasks, and we'll set that equal to here.maxTaskPar, which says, what's the maximum amount of task parallelism I can run on the current compute node on which my program is running? We'll then use this coforall loop. This is a stylized loop that creates a separate task for each iteration of the loop. So we'll create num tasks, different tasks, each one of which will print out its own little hello message. We compile this code like we would any other, and then we run it. And we'll see if we're running on a four core system, the four hello messages printing out. And of course, since the tasks are running in parallel and in an uncoordinated fashion, the hello messages could come out in any order. Now this is a shared memory code, but we can make it a distributed memory code very easily. We can wrap a second coforall around our original coforall, and this one iterates over locales, which is a built-in array describing the compute nodes on which our program is running. We then use an on clause to say, run each of these tasks on its respective compute node. And then of course we still have the inner coforall loop that'll create a task per processor on that compute node. So now with that small change, we've made this into a distributed memory code. We can recompile it, and we can run it saying run on two locales. If each one of those compute nodes has four cores, we'll get eight messages. Of course, this is a parallel program, so we could also run on a thousand nodes and get a lot more messages. So that's task parallelism in Chapel. Let's take a quick look at data parallelism now. We'll start by declaring a problem size, n. We'll declare a 2D index set or domain, uh, 1 to n, 1 to n. We'll then declare a 2D array over that index set of real floating point values. Then we'll use this for all loop to initialize the elements of the array as a function of their indices i and j. Now the for all loop is again a parallel loop, but rather than creating a task per iteration, it uses an appropriate amount of parallelism for the hardware that it's being mapped to. In this case, again, the number of processor cores. And then we print out the array at the end. We compile this code, run it. I'm running it here for a small problem size of five, just so we can see the results easily. We get this little five by five array out. Now again, this is a shared memory code by default, but with some very small changes, we can make it into a distributed memory code. Here I'm saying, use the cyclic distribution module and map this index set and its array and the loop over it in a cyclic manner over my compute nodes. So with that small change, I've turned this, turned this shared memory code into a distributed memory code. I can then recompile it, rerun it on four locales, and you get the same result, of course, because it's a data parallel program. But in this case, we're using all four compute nodes that we're running on and all of the cores on those compute nodes to compute these values in parallel. Those are some simple examples of Chapel. Of course, Chapel can be used to implement more complicated computations, such as Lulesh, which is one of the DOE proxy applications. Here's the Chapel code for Lulesh, and as you can plainly see, it's just as elegant and simple as the previous examples we've seen. But now we're getting ahead of ourselves. So if you'd like to know a little bit more about Chapel, Come attend our tutorial at SC16. It'll be held on Sunday, November 13th. It's entitled Productive Programming in Chapel, the Computation Driven Introduction. We hope to see you there. And if you'd like to know more about Chapel, please visit our website, chapel.cray.com. Thanks very much.